Hi, I'm Emma from the Moon Society. Did you know that like travel on Earth, a lot of the expense of travel through cis lunar space, that is, from here to the Moon, is for fuel? No surprise there, because every mission has to carry enough fuel for a round trip and lift all that fuel from Earth. But what if there was a filling station in space? An orbital propellant depot? A gastroid? Well, Boeing Company is proposing just that. As the Boeing manager for in space and surface systems, we've been looking at both infrastructure items that belong in space and refugees, Earth Moon, L1, Lagrangian Point, way stations. And one of the key things we've been looking at from a commercial aspect is a lunar propellant depot in Earth orbit, which would allow NASA to enhance the ability of their architecture to give us a much greater leverage of mass to the lunar surface. We're able to increase the landed mass by about a factor of three, the cargo mass by almost a factor of 15. The initial report in the Exploration Systems Architecture Study team had two tons of cargo out of 18 tons that's landed. Part of that is the ascent stage and part of that is the descent stage after it's expended its propellant. They have gone and, and modified the ascent stage so that they can deliver about six tons to the surface of usable cargo and the lander mass is about the same and the ascent mass has been shrunk to allow that extra mass to be delivered as cargo. The impact to that system would be about the same with the depot because the total launch mass from Earth is about the same. So instead of six tons, we'd be at 33 tons or 33 tons more. So we'd have another 39 tons of mass or about 40 tons to deliver on the surface. We start with the premise that it needs to be modular so that there's less damage in case of a failure like a micrometeroid impact. But we start with the Delta IV heavy upper stage concept. It's about the right volume. Six of those tanks would give us a full depot for a lunar mission. Uh, we put them around a truss, much like you see on the space station holding the solar arrays. Those are launched individually. They're launched empty and they are assembled using the Orbital Express technology that is being demonstrated right now in orbit for autonomous rendezvous and docking and also propellant transfer. They are brought together. We would put two of them in orbit, one for each lunar mission a year and also for redundancy purposes. Key hurdles that need to be overcome for this to be viable as a commercial entity would be low launch prices as currently published by SpaceX on their website as to what they're offering launch prices for as well as the signing of a long-term purchase contract by NASA so that we have a customer. The customer could also be Bigelow of Bigelow Aerospace and their desire to move their inflatable habitats to the moon. They'll need about the same amount of propellant. So there are two potential customers there. And if one were to sign a long-term contract, then a commercial entity that wants to put up a depot could do that. That's not in Boeing's purview right now. That's not in our standard way of doing business, but we'd be glad to build that.